Hello. Hello, David Bradley here. We have been looking at this drives. 1541s typically. But uh, as I was heading to the basement, I found a 1571. And I always liked the 1571. Not that it worked any faster on the Commodore 64. I just like the looks of them. And the fact that they were, you know, double sided and oh. Well. Anyway, does this one work? I don't know. If I could just turn on the switch. Oh, well. It seems to. But does it? I don't know. Even though it is really not. Oh, look at that. It is this thing. Oh, sorry, it is. I loaded the directory and it is loaded. And I have a load of all things the performance test. Which, um, I know it's not really for this drive, but it works like a 1541 in 64 mode, or on a 64. So I'm going to run. When I put my scratch disk in, it does seem to format a wee bit faster. Maybe this is the machine, or the, the disk drive they thought. Um, that this whole thing would take 80 seconds on. So, one thing... Oh. Oh, well, it's finished formatting. Boy, that is fast. One thing, as we look at the back of this drive, and it's very small. Boy, is it hard to see. There is a little hole. A square hole right on the back. We've been talking about how you can change the device numbers on some of the disk drives. And originally, of course, you had to void your warranty and go and scratch out a solder trace and perhaps install a switch and such as that. But eventually they said, you know, that's not really not smart. So they put, there's a tiny little hole here and within the tiny little hole are two tiny little switches. And I'm suspecting right now that I would find that those switches, one is up and one is down. But I'm not sure I can even see them. Oh. Yeah. Need better magnification. They're both in the up position. So, this is now device 8. Oh. And the disk drive has passed the performance. Oh, now it stopped. It has passed the performance test. How magical. So, but while we're here. And we were talking about device changing. I know you really can't see very well, but this is very hard to do, except to do. It's a tiny, tiny, tiny little thing here. I'm going to take my screwdriver. I'm going to flip the switch on the left side down. I'm going to turn the drive on. And then I'm going to load 
to directory and device 9. Oh, look at that. It worked. Okay, so, on the 1571, if both switches are up, it's device 8. This is looking at the back of the machine. If the switch on, as you're looking at the back of the machine, on the left is down, it's device 9. That is what I think so far. Just a moment. I have now switched both switches to down. Now I'm going to try loading device 10. Okay, I got device not present. Let me try 11. Aha! Okay. So, both up, 8. This one down, this is looking at the back of the drive, 9. Both down, 11. So 10 must be that way. At least one would think. And look at that. Device 10. So, I'm going to put these back in the original configuration. And turn it back on. Good. So I'm assuming that would be the same on the 1541-2 and other such drives that have the switches on the back. So, as much as I hoped, well, I didn't hope to have to dig into a 1571, we don't have to, because it's all good. This one, it's kind of dirty, I'm just trying to see where it was made. Made in Japan. So, besides the 1541s, of which there are many, I have at least one 1571. Um, you know what? I, I know they're better. They're faster on the, on the 128 and all that. Um, I just like the way they look. They're sleek. They're fantastic. So, if you have such a drive, or two, or three, or four, remember the switches on the back. Let me see if I can remember. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think. Anyway, so, there's another drive that works. Isn't it magic? Um, and it's for the, well, the 1571 will work on the 64. It'll work on anything that has the serial drive. It works best on the Commodore 128, where it will reportedly read CPM disks. And in terms of using disks in 128 mode, it's double-sided, so it'll hold twice as much. Um, but the format itself is the same as the single-sided 1541, so... Anything that worked on 1541 in a Commodore 64 should work in this, and anything, uh, well, you know, I mean, a lot of people got 128s, and there, there wasn't nearly as much software for the 128 and 128 mode. Why? Because, well, you could use most anything, although, um, as Bill Hurd said at TPUG a couple of years ago, it did not promise a hundred percent compatibility, um, but boy, damn near everything works in 60 more mode on the 128. Anyway, here is a beautiful drive. Beautiful. Well, it's not beautiful. It's dirty. I need to clean it up. Maybe this will be the one I will use the magic eraser on to show you how that works. Anyway, so there. 
another disc drive. Life is good. I will see you again.